Today's video is how to set up separate channels for dual ailerons. So let's get started. Dual ailerons are common to set up for a couple of different reasons. You may want to do something advanced as setting up flapperons or something as simple to get rid of a Y adapter. There's nothing wrong with using a Y adapter and it saves you from having to use an extra channel for two servos. However, it is another component that can fail. So let me show you how to set this up where our ailerons are going to be on separate channels. First thing we need to do is configure that type of aircraft. Push enter, go down to system setup. We go to aircraft type. We're going to set up dual ailerons. You can see we've got two servos there, one for each side. Now we'll go back, scroll down to channel assign, then we go to RX port assignment. This is our configuration on where the channels need to be plugged into. Normally channel two would be for the ailerons and you have the Y adapter, so both servos would be hooked to the Y adapter and you would just go into channel two. Now that one's designated for the right aileron and channel 6 is designated for the left aileron, which we have set up. So now let's see what we got. Push it to the left, they're both going the same way. Push it to the right, they're both going the same way. If the servos are mounted in the correct position on an airplane, they should go the opposite direction. So you're probably thinking, well BD, how do I get them to go in the correct direction? Here's what you do. Push enter, go to servo setup, go to reverse. This is your channel reversal. Just think of these as switches. That's basically what they are. So we want to change the direction that the left aileron servo is going. So we'll scroll down to LAL, which is left aileron, push the switch. Now let's see what happens when we move the aileron left to right. You can see they're going the opposite direction. So for discussion, let's pretend that our right one needs to be switched as well. What you do is you go up to right aileron, push enter, now that one's switched. So you just configure these to get the control surface moving in the correct direction. I hope y'all found this video informative. If you did, push the like button. If you want to see future videos, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you on the next one.